I have good news for you. There are plenty of natural ways to reduce acne and pimples. I'm going to give you four very easy. Okay, number one, keep your skin clean, but not too much. This means washing your face twice a day with a very gentle cleanser, avoiding, you know, like hard scrubs or exfoliants that can irritate your skin. Also, make sure that you remove your makeup and your sunscreen before going to bed. Remember, don't overdo it. I mean, I, I used to have pimples and oily skin, and we tend to go for the wash with salicylic acid and the spot treatment with salicylic acid and the moisturizer with salicylic acid, and then you end up with pimples, oily skin, and dry, flaky, overworked skin on the surface, okay? So clean, but be gentle. I usually, by the way, don't like at-home remedies at all, but a friend of mine said that using apple cider vinegar is a good option. So you just have to mix one part of apple cider vinegar in three parts of water. Use more water if your skin is too compromised. After cleansing, just apply, you know, like the potion on the skin with a cotton, you let it sit for five, maybe 15 uh, seconds, and then you rinse it off with water. And you can repeat the process, I would say like one to two times per day. Now, let me tell you, pay attention, applying apple vinegar, apple vinegar, cider vinegar to your skin can cause some serious irritation and serious uh, burns, okay? Number two, tip number two, tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is a natural ingredient that has been shown to help reduce acne and pimples. You can apply a few drops of tea tree oil on a cotton ball and just put it on your skin. You have to mix it with a career oil, like jojoba oil or anything else, because otherwise you're going to burn yourself. And believe me, I have burned myself with tea tree oil in the past. Number three, and I love this one, okay? Try a honey mask. Listen, honey is a natural ingredient that can help reduce acne and pimples, and simply apply just not like a thin layer, and let it sit for 10 minutes, 15, and then you rinse it off with warm water. Honey, as I said, has antibacterial properties due to the presence of hydrogen peroxide, acidity, and other compounds. Here is the thing, when bees collect nectar from flowers, they will add enzymes to break down sucrose into glucose and fructose. This process will create an acidic environment which is low, which has a low pH, which inhibits the growth of bacteria in other microorganisms. Now you know. Some specific types of honey contain even more additional antibacterial compounds than uh, others. For example, maybe you've heard of uh, Manuka honey, which is produced in New Zealand. Um, uh, there is a specific compound which has been shown to have like strong antibacterial properties. Other types of honey can have um, phenolic acids, flavonoids, and hydrogen peroxide, which also contribute to their antibacterial properties. So, in a nutshell, the combination of acidity, enzymes, and additional antibacterial compounds make honey a natural and very effective antibacterial agent. Tata Harper, it's very expensive, but has a delicious raw honey mask. Tip number four, you know this, watch your diet. I mean, I will not elaborate on that. The closer to the ground, the better. There is some evidence that suggests that there may be a link between high blood glucose levels and acne. Also, let me tell you, you know, like high blood, uh, blog, high blood glucose levels can also lead to inflammation in your body, which has been linked to the development of acne. By the way, take the quiz in the description box. Uh, Acids are a great ally. It will help you fight acne, blackheads, and scarring. You will love the quiz. It's in the description box. So there you have it. I appreciate you very much. Bye for now.